Hello, my fellow Tesla lovers. I am so happy to share this video with you today. Why? Because I am finally solving a problem that I complained about on one of my videos, uh, what others won't tell you about your Model 3, where I complained about the fact that for the price point that I got my Model 3 at, every time you unlock the trunk, you have to go in manually and open it with your fingers. And I know some of you who don't have a Model 3 are saying, oh, poor you. But those of you who have a Model 3 know that the back of the trunk, because of the aerodynamics, is always significantly dirtier than the rest of the car. And every time you put your hands uh, underneath, like to, you know, open it, to pull it open, well, they come out dirty. And I hate that. So I'm finally taking care of it. I'm really happy because this video is thanks to you, my viewers. Two of you were nice enough to suggest another video uh, from another YouTuber who actually did this on his car. So I'm going to show you how easy it's supposed to be, I hope. And hopefully at the end of this, I'll have a trunk that pops open all on its own. Stay tuned at the end of this video to hear my thoughts on the unveiling of the Model Y and why I think I'm gonna be selling my Model 3. What you'll need to carry out this project are two struts, two springs, and two washers. All of the details will be listed down below, so worry not and come watch. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is that you're gonna take your strut and you're gonna unscrew the top. So you're gonna take the washer, slide that baby in, and then put the spring, and then guess what? Screw it back in. Now, I'm extremely nervous. Well, I'm a girl who's artsy and craftsy, but uh, mechanical? No, um, my mother was. My mother had like a Land Rover when she was younger and she could change its tire. She could do all this stuff because, you know, that's just the kind of woman she was. And then she had a daughter like me who's uh, not that kind of woman. So I'm really nervous, okay? <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna turn out great and if it doesn't God help me okay now the first step is that we have to remove the existing struts okay you're gonna take your uh, flathead screwdriver and what you're gonna do I'm about to show you is that we're actually just gonna release the spring that holds this into place um, I'm gonna take a close-up shot of that I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I'm by myself but it's gonna work I'm sure it will. See here, there's a little hole. You're gonna put this in there and it's just gonna release. Do you see that, how easy that is? It's not coming right off. It's supposed to come off. I don't know how to get it off. I'm so excited. Okay, I, I, I really need to get out more, right? Okay, so right now it's holding. It's just, I guess you do the same. <laughs> We're gonna do the same for the bottom. You're gonna put your screwdriver in. So now as you can see, I just loosened the top, the ball, so this is free, okay? And right now, I'm going to loosen the bottom one. So I'm inserting the flat screwdriver in there just to release the spring, and then I should be able to get it off. Okay. Oh, wow! The bottom one is really easy. Really easy. So, uh, Elon, don't get mad at me. I just removed its arm. Well, the strut that originally came in your car. Okay, so now, um, I'm going to clip it on and now I'm going to click this in. <laughs> you guys are laughing. You must be laughing. I'm going to start with the bottom one. Hopefully it will click in as easily as the other as it clicked out. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> but uh, I will do this. try from this side so you see if I can put leverage my body weight on it to make it work. Come on. Oh, it works. Oh god. I'm a big kid now. So so I got the bottom in. I'm super excited. I'm like a kid at a candy store. And now I have to put the top in. 
So I'm gonna have to lower it just a little bit. And now I just have to, oh God. This is tricky because um, the bottom wants to close. I have to get it in. Did it. <laughs> now let's just make sure it's really tight in there. Now you should pull on it and it shouldn't come out. And if it does, I'm gonna get hit in the head. Okay, we're good. We're good. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, we are moving on to strut number two. El numero dos. Yes, I should work on Sesame Street, I get it, okay? I'm still nervous. And with my other hand, I don't know if you can see it, I'm trying to hold it. <sighs> it's not coming off. Let me get in the trunk if I have to. Okay, right now, right now I'm literally in the trunk, <laughs> both knees. Because I need, oh, I'm getting dirty. Okay, because, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just hilarious for me. I'm trying to pull it out. It won't come out. <laughs> How did I do the other one? God sakes. Okay, I'm, I'm literally in the trunk. Loosening the spring. And this should come off. <laughs> I'm not gonna give up. Come on. Oh, don't, don't, don't lock on me. I did it. Okay, let me get out of the truck. Okay, I'm using my head to hold it up because I don't want to, I don't know, ruin the other strut and have it. Oh, look how easy that is. Great. Now, okay. I got this. And now I'm holding it with my head. I'm hoping the other one. Oh, boy. Huh. Yeah, you got to hold it with your head. Okay, so let me get in here. Okay. How did I put the other one? Uh, there we go. Okay, and then we're gonna put the top one in. Oh, come on, get in there. Ball and socket, you guys are, love each other. There you go. Okay. It's in. Gotta make sure it's in. Okay. Okay. Yay. It's in. Gotta pull on it to make sure it's actually in. Okay. And now, let's close it. So far, so good. No weird noises. I feel like there's a little bit more resistance. Okay, now that it's closed, let's test it. Let's see. It works. Oh my God, it works, it works, it works, it works. So you do need a little bit more strength in your arms than I thought. If I could do it, you guys could definitely do it. And please remember to subscribe. By the time you see this video, I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, have seen the Model Y. And like I said earlier, I am going to be putting my Model 3 for sale. Oh, I know. But let me explain. Uh, just as I had gotten my Model Y, I was in the process of selling my Model X. I know, selling your Model X, the coolest car on earth. What is she thinking? Well, let me just explain. We got our Model X at the beginning when they first started rolling out the Model X and uh, we didn't have the option to get a white interior, which we really wanted. 
Also, uh, we got the second row of seats. It was complete, meaning three seats. So in order to circulate towards the back, you have to get the people in the second row of seats to come out of the car, and then you can go into the third row of seats. So I think that the next time we get a Model X, we're definitely gonna get the second row of seats with just two seats as opposed to three, so it's easier to circulate. And another reason why we got rid of the Model X was because uh, we missed the sports handling. Prior to the Model X, we actually had a Porsche Panamera. Uh, and I personally, I love the look of all Porsches. I think they're timeless, they're beautiful, um, but I love them for that and for their handling. So I was really just a girl that would pick out the car because of how pretty it looked on the outside. Yep, that's me until Elon came along and he made me fall in love with the exterior and the interior, a real package. So uh, he made me optimistic about the future for my kids, for the environment, for all of us, and hopefully all of you are as optimistic as I am, thanks to Elon. Now getting back to the Model Y, I was so psyched when I saw the Model Y come out because it's like my Model X and my Model 3 had a baby. Model Y and I'm super excited because I'm going to be able to get back that sports handling that I missed having with my Model X and I'm going to be able to get back a little bit more room which I sometimes miss with my Model 3. So yeah I'm going to put my Model 3 for sale. I know. Oh another thing that I love about the Model Y is that guess what in the unveiling the Model Y had all of the chrome deleted already. It was all black. And I think that is so cool. I'm really, really hoping that when they actually start rolling them out, that it will be a feature that will be kept. Uh, you know, that it's not something that was just for the unveiling because I think that's super cool. It's gonna save me a lot of time and money. Hey, I love that. By the way, did you guys see the Roadster, the 2020 Roadster? I know he had shown it before, but just seeing it again, my God, I was salivating. I mean, that car is delicious. It's like, it's like a candy apple. You know, a candied apple with like curves in all the right places. I mean, that car is wicked hot. If only Elon could buy it for me. That'd be so nice. Hey, a girl can dream, huh? <laughs> all right, thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to read your comments. Let me know if you're gonna put your Model 3 for sale or if you're gonna keep it and just get another good Tesla. The more the merrier. Till next time, bye. And I love the fact that now it doesn't sound like a Honda Civic when you close it. It sounds like a more expensive trunk. <laughs> see? As you can see, the lines are really smooth here. Look. This is perfect. I'd like to give a really special shout out to I1 Tesla for making the awesome video that taught me how to change the struts on my Model 3 so that I now have a Model 3 whose trunk opens up automatically. No more dirty fingers for me. Thank you.